Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I would like to show you a new product by Insta360, the third person bike handlebar mount. It's a new product made to elevate cycling filming. After having tested it out on the bike extensively, I would like to share with you its key features. As you know, if you've been following the channel or Instagram, I am a huge fan of the Insta360 ONE X2 for shooting cycling, running or any adventure content. I think it is an incredible product that captures great footage and that really allows to tell a story. The field of view is adjustable, wide and can show beautiful locations where we are, inserting the human element, the protagonist, ourselves, with our friends, making the showcasing of these incredible locations that we visit and we train in and showing them in a very entertaining way. This in my opinion is an awesome way to make great memories that can last a lifetime and to share them, inspiring others along the way. One of the main places where I use the Insta360 ONE X2 a lot is on the bike. Here I believe the Insta really shines in capturing great footage with its technology that cancels out the invisible selfie stick. I always take this camera with me when I go out on the bike and I usually just attach it to the pole and hold the pole in my hand. But this is not very safe and cannot be done for extended periods of time. I then tried out some mounts, but these were often heavy. Enter the newly released third person bike handlebar mount. This mount, constructed in plastic materials, has two anchor points to lock it on the handlebar and an adjustable front mount where to attach an Insta360 carbon fiber pole made exactly for this specific mount. The front mount is great at carrying the camera's weight because it has fixed angles where the pole and camera will 100% never slip down. Because of these fixed positions, they're sort of like ratchets, that provide the right resistance to avoid the slipping of the camera and the pole. Mounting it on the bike handlebars is very easy. Just slide it on the bars, close the two hinges and screw the two screws on either side of the stem to secure it correctly. This mount is great for cycling because it will not move, I assure you. This mount is great for road cycling and for effortlessly capturing great footage while riding. It's light and fits very well on the front handlebars. It can just stay there for the whole ride and to be honest, if you're a triathlete, you won't even notice that it's there. It is the same thing as having some light aero bar extensions. The front mount can be angled so to get some crazy close to the wheel shots, way down, or higher up to get some more classic third person shooting style shots. And these shots are so cool. I absolutely love them. So many people are always asking me, wow, how did you get this shot? Or who was there filming you? And I'm not kidding, this really happens. People ask me like, who was there filming you? And it's Nobody. I just reply, it was this little pocket rocket camera, the Insta360 ONE X2 with the appropriate mounts. And the people who ask me this stuff, their jaws literally drop. They cannot believe it. They think, they think I'm joking. The mount works great for climbing shots on the bike and general cycling shots, giving this unique third person perspective. But especially it shines on downhill shots. These would be impossible without the mount. Descending at high speed with the camera in your hand is very dangerous and I do not recommend it. With this mount, getting those descent shots at high speeds becomes easy and super safe. The mini pole is made of carbon fiber and it can also be unscrewed from the mount and used as a standard selfie stick, which will be canceled out from the image. You can get some great shots with this configuration, even if it's not as long as the normal invisible selfie stick. This carbon fiber pole is also a lot lighter. The bike mount also has two additional mounts directly on the structure where you can attach the camera with the right adapter. These I would use without the pole as they do not have the adjustable construction with the number of fixed ratcheted slots where the camera is secure. I would recommend this mount to anyone who wants to showcase and remember their rides and adventures. The footage you can get is truly awesome in my opinion. The third person view is really a unique perspective that no other cameras can give. And it is just so easy to get these shots with this camera and this configuration. It's uncomparable to any other camera. The footage turns out entertaining, beautiful, customizable, and adaptable to any output format, be it vertical for social media, 16x9 for YouTube or any other format you would like. The colors are vibrant, the angles are dynamic, and if needed, we can use this shorter carbon fiber pole as a little version of the invisible selfie stick. I think this mount is absolutely perfect for anyone who wants to go on epic rides, showcase both the places where they're going and the action that is happening, so the actual ride. I personally use this mount to great satisfaction. 
It is lighter than other comparable Insta360 mounts that can do the same thing and it can just sit on the handlebar without creating basically any discomfort. And the biggest problem that this mount solves is the fact that the pole with the camera at the end really creates a lot of weight. It can really pull down and create a lot of force and with cycling this can be kind of dangerous because cycling at high speed, hitting potholes and all that kind of stuff, coupled with the weight of the camera, this can really make it move a lot. But with this mount and the ratcheted fixed constructions, this is not a problem because the camera will remain fixed where we put it and we never have to have any fear about it moving. With this mount, to achieve the best view and stability, it is recommended to keep the pole parallel to the ground, so straight out, and ensure that the camera's front side is parallel to the ground. The compatible handlebar diameter for this mount is between 25 millimeters and 32 millimeters. So basically we will be able to mount it on any standard road cycling handlebar. I would recommend using this mount on roads. The instructions say to keep our speed under 60 km per hour, which I think is a good idea, and maybe on some very light gravel, but I would not push it to hardcore gravel or anything mountain bike related. For mountain biking, there is a whole lot of other mounts that Insta360 makes, which are more adapted to that. This mount is compatible with the Insta360 ONE X2 and the ONE RS, so it can be used with both these cameras and I think with other cameras that you can check out on the site. So all in all, I would recommend this mount to anyone who's into cycling, to filming their cycling, making videos about it, sharing the beautiful places that they see and the adventure that they go on. And if they're looking for something that is light and fairly non-invasive, because you can literally forget that you have this mount on the bike, I would definitely look into it. Two things that I did that are not written in the instruction manual are one, I tested out the mount with the normal invisible selfie stick, this one right here, and it works perfectly. One thing to say is that this pole is a bit heavier, so maybe I would keep it a bit shorter or I wouldn't really try to use it that much, not fully extended. I would not use this mount with the really long invisible selfie stick. I don't think it would work great and risk maybe breaking it. The second thing that I did that is not written on the instruction manual is that when I was tired of using the mount and having it on my handlebars, what I did is I just unscrewed it and screwed it on my seat post. So it was away from my view, it was just behind there, and it might be a thing that you can think about also. So all in all, this mount is absolutely approved. It's gonna replace the motorcycle mount that I was using before because this is way lighter, it's way easier to use, and it is a product that I feel that I can absolutely recommend. It is a step forward compared to what was present before on the market. Two final things, if you're on the fence about getting the Insta360 ONE X2, I say absolutely get it, it's an insane camera. Second thing, if you're thinking of getting this handlebar mount, I will leave a link in the description that you can get it, it's an affiliate link. It won't have a discount, but it might have some extra accessories for you. So I will leave the link in the description. I hope you like this video. I really believe in Insta360 as a brand, in what they're doing and the products they make as a really big step forward to the future of showcasing action sports, cycling, running, hiking, trail running, and everything that has to do with adventure and especially solo adventure. So this camera is often described as having a camera crew in your pocket and I really believe it is so. This is a truly unbelievable piece of technology. If 10 years ago you would have told me that I would have had a camera like this, I would have said, you're crazy. And this camera, coupled with the right mounts, like third-person bike handlebar mount, can really get some incredible footage and can create visual memories that can last us a lifetime about all the epic things we've done. <laughs> So let me know what you think about the Insta360 ONE X2 new mount. Let me know what you think about the Insta360 camera if you want me to test it in some ways or if you're curious about some things, drop the questions below. I will answer every single one of them. Join the Discord chat if you haven't already to discuss anything that is training, racing, triathlon, endurance and technology related. Thanks for watching as always and I will see you in the next video. Stay stoked and have a great day.